Welcome to another episode of Food Buffet Report. Yes! Last episode, we showed you a photograph from a film set that my friend Mike sent in because he works on film sets and he knows that we make a show about buffets. So he sent this in to us and told us that we could feature it on the show. And this is a second photo that he sent in. Uh, so this is the food service uh, station for the film crew, also known as the, the film crew buffet. And it's set up with uh, chafing dishes and it's on a uh, banquet table with a cheap pink tablecloth. And it looks like the food is being served up on take out clamshell containers rather than just flat ordinary plates so i'm guessing that the film crew not only can they eat the food there but when there's food left over they can take some home with them too if they want hmm. nice you think they can well i know that my friend mike always tells me that he takes food don't home show off like you have friends okay okay let me rephrase that then please uh, Mike, just say no, Mike. Not, okay, so Mike, who submitted this photo, told me that he takes food home sometimes. Is that Mike there, standing so close? Look at the puffy jacket. Is that the person's stomach, or is that just the jacket part? Mike is taking the photograph. Yeah, but who's the fat person with their stomach pressed against the buffet handle? <laughs> Why are they standing there so close? I don't know. Their jacket might melt. Yeah, exactly. I, with the can fuel underneath there? The jacket is made of all synthetic products, so it'll probably melt. Do you think that's a star, like an actor? No, I think this is just for the film crew. They, they give mediocre food to the film crew, and they give the better food to the actors. Do they have a nicer buffet? I feel like, because I actually, one of my brands, Aaron, they're not friends of mine, like you said, Mike, so I won't make that mistake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Lionswood in Baltimore, Maryland makes buffet tables. That's great. Well, can we talk about something that can lead to something? It's not allowed. We that's can't not, talk about anything relevant. That's not that's not really the MO here at Food Buffet Report. All right. Well, let's keep it esoteric and unrelated to anything. <laughs> so that nobody understands why we're doing it. Tell me about Lionswood, though. No, it's, I mean, it's too late now. I mean, I could talk about every, a lot of things. I mean, I have the, uh, the hot mobile metal things there, the metal boxes. You mean the chafing dishes? Is that what they're called? Well, you gave me shit last episode because I didn't call them the, by the correct name. Now you're not calling them by the correct name. I know. Payback's hell, isn't it? Yeah. The lions would actually, they, they have a nice clean buffet where you don't need the, the, the hot little, see the hot thing there. It's a sterno. You light it up and it has flames that, that kiss just that. They kiss that just that one portion of the food. And if you don't stir it, you're hoping that the heat naturally distributes all across the food pan and heats all the food, but typically it'll scorch because it's an unregulated temperature. I wonder if these people who are running this buffet even know that you have to stir the food in order for it to be heated evenly. I don't know. I mean, when they start smelling it burning. But the other thing is, <laughs> you don't have to use the, the... You can use induction. So you don't need to keep using these, these fuel sources. You just use mm -hmm. induction. It heats up, you turn it off, and you put it away. Looks much nicer. I mean, I do love that pink, this plastic pink tablecloth. I mean, there's nothing that says elegance, plastic tablecloth. It's like, what? We can do better, buffet people, for the crew. Where can people get Lionswood? Can they buy it on Amazon? No, Lionswood can only be purchased through authorized food service distributors. You can reach out to me or Aaron in the comments below and say, Bill, I'd like to learn more and I'd be happy to help you. We can look at your application like we could totally redo this buffet. 
I'm not an authorized distributor of Lionswood products, so don't give people that impression. No, but you can answer questions. You could at least they could respond to either one of us, and you could you could then if they ask you, you could you could of course go, whoa, hands off, it's not me, and you could direct them to me. Do you okay. do you think you could do that? Probably. Okay. Well, it's, I know it's a big ask, but yeah. Anyways, this is the other end of the buffet. Obviously, the other the it starts with rice and it ends with pasta and and potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's all starch. That's all the film crew eats. It's all starch diet. Do you think that person standing there, they have a very sad posture. Do you think they walked from the one end thinking there's something else and they get and they're like, oh, this is it. It's yeah. all starches. They complain about the abundance of starches, but then they say, hey, give me one of those clamshell containers. I'd like to take some of this home. Yeah. And why does that person with the glove have to grab can't the the would they can't the crew can't be trusted with a spoon in a clamshell container i guess they're you know mindful of germs and there's a person who serves the food from the buffet hopefully they're stirring the food too i'm sure that person if we could get the rest of his torso they may be bent in the center of their back leaning over and you can't see it so actually there's it's not very sanitary mm. it's wide open anything can can drop from the ceiling onto the food like floating down right now as we speak dust yeah usually these film crew buffets are set up in warehouses and kind of dirty places yeah just look at all of the boxes being stored along the back wall there are those the tables and chairs for the crew is probably, that where they sit probably <laughs> they, have to sit, they have to sit on boxes yeah and what if a box is empty and you sat down? It's not sturdy enough to hold up a person's weight. I would love to see that. If we could just be, if we could have been here to actually film this. I mean, this is a great episode of us giving commentary on a still photo. But I'm sure if we were on site, oh, it'd be great. Absolutely. We need to go on site of a buffet one time. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, maybe sometime in the future. I look forward to it. And I think you guys do as well. Yes. Thanks for Thanks watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Wow. We have the fake, same brain. Fake laugh. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye.